and they bless the grapes. Anybody have any idea? Well, okay, nobody's going to hell if you don't answer, I promise. No, it's just Mike knows. Come on, Mike. The beer is made by humans. The wine is made by God. Amen. See? You got it. I'd like to welcome all our loyal friends and any new friends and uh, to the 36th Blessing of the Grapes. This is our 36th harvest here. It looks like it's going to be a wonderful harvest. Evo is going to speak to you about the grapes in this year's harvest and then Mike will follow him. So I think our organic farming has been a terrific success and I'd like to introduce you to Evo. Last year, any of you who've been here, I said uh, that the last harvest was best ever. And then I thought, oh my God, I'd probably have to wait 10, 15 more years to get the same kind of quality. But uh, I believe this year might be even better. The conditions were just superb. And uh, maybe it has to do with Father Gordon, who prayed very hard for uh, this vintage. Uh, why is, uh, this season is so good? Uh, we had plenty of rain until December, Christmas. And then after uh, Christmas, nothing. Three inches of rain. Uh, lowest ever, I believe, in Napa Valley from January to harvest. So which, which, which uh, caused the grapes to have plenty of water early in season. And then we put them under mild stress uh, last 40 days of ripening. So the result is very small berries and very intense flavors with good acidity. So we have very high hope that uh, this is the second year in a row that we have superb conditions. So these grapes uh, are Chardonnay grapes from our American Canyon vineyard. It's uh, old Venti clone. This is considered best clone for Chardonnay. We got uh, wood many years ago from a very high known grower here. And uh, many times we harvest it before, uh, before uh, blessing, but this year really this is first grapes we picked. And then tomorrow, will uh, jump from 18 tons to 60 tons. Uh, uh, grapes are uh, ripening fast, uh, will be very busy uh, for next few days. Thanks for coming. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Greetings to everyone. And I am so happy to see so many good friends connected with the grape. This is the valley of the grapes and the wines. And with efforts of the people last 50 years in Napa Valley, we have become the number one region of grapes in the world. Congratulations. Many of you have helped. This didn't come overnight, but gradually we are up there on the top and I would like to share with you excitement of the new harvest. It's a very important to have a good grapes. Without good grapes, we cannot make good wine. However, to make a good wine, there is a many ways how to make wine. You can make wine by the book, you can make wine by science, you can make wine by art, and each of these are being made in Napa Valley. We are lucky that we belong to the group of artistic wine making. And to become artist, you have to have many years of experience. I am very lucky that I have about 87 years of experience. <laughs> And Ivo is about 25 years, and Violet is lady, you never can mention ladies' years. <laughs> we have a good team here that we try to perfect making of the wine and growing grapes. As you know, we organically harvest uh, 
in order to only harvest but to organically farm our vineyards, five vineyards, the, all five in Napa Valley. And uh, we don't use insecticide, pesticide, or artificial fertilizer. And we have a little story that we make wine from our vineyard to your glass naturally. And why naturally? Because we grow grapes naturally. We ferment grapes with the yeast that come from the vineyard naturally. We mature our wine in the oak barrels, which oak is natural. And we use corks, natural cork, to close our bottle. And we bottle put in the case. That case is made of recycled paper. And more of all of these, our wine go minimum one year on the honeymoon suite. <laughs> this is something that marries fruitiness from the grapes and oakiness from oak into bouquet. And that's a world-class wine. And we are very proud that we succeeded in designing the vineyard and winery all complete in one wine that you can enjoy. You can enjoy the aroma and the taste and the look of it. And most of all, on our wines go down the throat, they usually say, more. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening. Enjoy your day. It's a beautiful day. Thanks God. And thanks Father Gordon, who is here to bless not only grapes, but all of you. So look for it that many of you might reach paradise. <laughs> because we live in Napa Valley paradise. So from good place that we go up to even better, but not soon. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming. I love you. Bye now. <laughs> Welcome again, everyone. I am so happy to see not just our immediate family, but our extended family here as well, because that's what we consider you all to be. We cannot possibly have the success that we've had without your participation. So this is not only a new harvest for us, but it's the beginning of our new fiscal year. We had an excellent year last year, and we're looking for an even better one next year. And you know, you guys can all help us with that, not just in participating in making, but also by taking some wines home with you. So you have the honor of having my father here today. I'm sure he'd be happy to sign some bottles for you, but not all at once. He is 90 after all. So we were so happy to celebrate his 90th birthday. And as you can see, even though he's a little slower, he still has that passion and fire which has really been the instrument of our success these many years. So I really hope that we as the next generation can have that and continue to grow it with your help and to become even more successful in the future. So a little later on, I'm gonna play a song for you. Uh, that's one of my dad's favorite songs. It's called Que Sera Sera, Whatever Will Be Will Be. And uh, it's, it's an interesting thing to think about with the harvest. We can say, yeah, whatever will be will be, but we don't take anything for granted. We like to contribute and ensure that we have success. So how do we do that? We invite Father Gordon to come up and to bless not just our grapes and our harvest, but everyone here. So whatever hard week we put into it, he can magnify that by many times. So Father Gordon from St. Helena Catholic Church, please come up. Thank you, Violet. It is a blessing to be here and on such a beautiful day and such a beautiful occasion and uh, the tradition that continues in the legacy of what Mike began. And also one of the uh, perhaps not well-known facts about Napa Valley, if you just look over there, Eva was pointing out to the BV sign, 
in the prohibition, it was the church that kept the wine going and kept it legal. So I don't think our winemakers, our vineyard owners, our winery owners want to drop the church just yet, right? You got Tim over here, right? <laughs> so it's, it's a beautiful day and a beautiful occasion. I'm going to ask you to join me as we bless this water and then we'll bless the grapes and all of you. Heavenly Lord, we ask that you send your spirit upon the water in this bowl, that it may be a sign of your great presence, the beauty of nature, the gift of water and food and air, to keep us in the spirit of being your children. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Now, a part of our heritage for wine, of course, comes from the biblical stance of over 3,000 years. Any of you ever read the Bible? Yeah. It's not another test, I promise. <laughs> but don't you see a lot of references to wine? And it's, it's a sacred beverage in the sense of what it does in wellness. Now, of course, you have to always be temperate and moderate. But this blessing, I sort of... Um, copied in part from our Jewish sisters and brothers and it goes back for many many millennia 3,000 millennia it's acknowledging the blessing of our hands and what we do so this blessing is for all of us and I'm inviting you again if you would just to extend your hands on the grapes here blessed are the works of your hands O holy one Bless, O Lord, these fruits of the vine, which you have brought to maturity by the dew of heaven, plentiful rains, and tranquil and favorable weather. By the gift of this valley, by the gifts of the Gurgich family, the Gurgich family of workers as well, who honor your gifts of the earth to sow, to nurture, and to harvest. Father gave me these olive branches and how appropriate. May we all live as one family in peace. Thanks. Thanks, Eva. And we pray, Lord, that you bless the hands of all of our workers gathered here and friends in the labor of harvest and keep them safe from all harm. Bless the hands of our winemakers that they use their gifts for the enjoyment of those who will receive your bounty. You have given us this fruit for our use that we may receive it with thanks. Help us to be mindful always of the many blessings you give us each day. Blessed are the works of your hands, O Holy One. We pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, world without end. Let everybody say, Amen. Get to douse you a little bit. And continued blessings on all of you. Triple for you. <laughs> because I can't. You'll find out why soon. <laughs> so usually when this instrument comes out, people run. But um, hopefully I'll keep you here long enough. The idea is to chase you off so you can stomp some grapes and have some fun. So whoever of you knows the lyrics, please sing along. That would really help me. <laughs>
future's not ours to see. They say, This year, on April 1st, my father turned 90 years old. And we figure that's such a big occasion, we want to keep celebrating for the rest of the year. So I'd like for you all to join in a big happy birthday, after which you guys can start going to the front of the winery, doing some grape stomping in our demonstration vineyard, and then enjoying some snacks and some more wine. All right? Um, happy birthday. Happy birthday.